Now, you've heard of giving people injections, right? So, mm -hmm. why not plants? Well, scientists here are using what's known as silk microneedles, which are normally used on humans, to deliver nutrients directly into crops to improve yield. Yeah, that's right. Now, to tell us more, we're joined by Dr. Daisuke Urano and Dr. Han Yang Yang from the Singapore MIT Alliance for Research and Technology, or SMART. Uh, let's begin first with you, uh, Dr. Urano. Uh, Tell us, why are you so excited with this new development in microneedles? Oh yeah, uh, in this program, we developed a brand new microneedle technology to deliver any of the small compounds directly into the plants. So we used a uh, natural material, uh, silk cocoon, mm. to produce uh, microneedles, uh, which we wrote uh, to the show today. Mm. Uh, Dr. Han, perhaps you know, you've got one sitting right in front of you there. Walk us through the process. Yeah, um, this work is developed in our research group in DSTEP Smart, which is MIT research enterprise in Singapore and has a cl close collaboration with MIT and the local institutes, TLL. Um, the micro needles are um, very tiny needles which have been developed to deliver vaccine for in, hum in humans um, painlessly. Um, in our case, we wanted to build on this technology to target the plants. Um, we choose the silk materials to make micro needle um, because silk is non-toxic. Generally, we perceive silk as a textile mm -hmm. and in a fiber format. Um, in fact, silk is a natural polymer. We can dissolve silk and uh, get different silk products with different formats, such as micro needle. In our study, we provide a very special process, um, process that can make silk more hydrophilic and more compatible with plants. Um, this micro needle this micro needle can work by simply inject the micro needle, inject the micro needle the towards the plant yes. tissues, mm. and so the micro needle tips can go inside the plant tissues and dissolve, and mm. then release the encapsulate bubbles. Mm. Yeah. So I just want to. It sounds pretty interesting. Uh, it looks like, as you can see from what Jill is doing, uh, like a little small patch with mm. very very small spines that are made of silk. Mm -hmm. yeah that are used to then inject, so to speak, the, the, the micronutrients into plants. And uh, I wish we had a plant here to show you guys, but we don't. Uh, but in theory, you would, as you can see from uh, uh, well, another picture on the screen over there, mm. put it onto a plant stem, yep. and then the nutrients are delivered directly through. Yes. So it's very interesting stuff. We heard just now that you use it on humans as well. Now we've, we've come that, uh, we, we were doing that to plants as well. Um, in terms of fine-tuning how much nutrients to go in, how, how does that work? Dr. Urano, perhaps you can explain. Or, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, thank you. Um, so the nutrients required by plants um, depend on the, on the plant species. Mm. And it's different at each stage for the plant growth. Uh, at SMART, we have already developed real-time nanosensors yeah. that can detect uh, the amount of the nutrients the plant needs so by combining the microneedle technology with the nanosensor, uh, we can precisely deliver the nutrients, the right amount of the nutrients the plant needs. Yeah. Mm. And, and you can deliver all kinds of things, can't you? Like uh, growth uh, hormones as well, uh, yes. Dr. Rano. So tell us a bit more about this and how it affects the plants significantly. Right. right. So the, in this study, as the proof of concept, mm. uh, we injected a plant growth hormone, a growth stimulator, uh, to the tomato, soya bean, lettuce, rice, and some other plants. The, as a result, we observed growth promotion. The, for example, you know, the height of the tomato was increased by roughly 20% mm -hmm. mm -hmm. with the microneedle injection of the growth stimulator. So we are now trying to deliver some other compounds to the plants to manipulate, to improve some other specific traits. Uh, that research outcomes will be coming in this or next year. Mm -hmm. I don't have many plants at home, and if, <laughs> among those that I have, you know, they, they usually die quite quickly. Uh, uh, but perhaps you can shed some light on why you thought that this, uh -huh. uh, you know, method was useful. I mean, what's the conventional method? And, you know, in the context of food security, perhaps, is this going to be something that we're going to be seeing much more of in future? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So the, the conventional method of the drug delivery is the spraying. Mm. Mm. So compared to that, uh, the silk technique, a uh, microneedle technique, has two major advantages. The first one is the 
lower compound usage. So as the silk microneedle can deliver the compound directly to the plants, amount needed is much smaller than the spraying method. The second one is the environmental contamination. So the spraying, of course, uh, the compound will be spread everywhere. But the microneedle, as it targets you know, uh, the compound to the specific location of the plants, there is no risk for the contamination. That is the two advantages of the new technology. For a country like Singapore, uh, who is trying to really expedite plans to mm. boost their food production, uh, our own food production on the island. How will this technology make a difference? Um, uh, perhaps to Dr. Irana? Yeah, so I can answer. Yeah. Um, the technology can be applied to the uh, indoor farming or other precision farm settings. So as we showed in the laboratory setting, we can deliver growth stimulator to the plants growing in the indoor farm. Right, then that can improve the yield uh, of the agricultural produce. But uh, as the next step, we still need further research yeah. to confirm the proof of the concept in the agricultural setting. At the same time, we have to determine what's the optimal dosage or what's the best timing to apply the micro needle technique mm. to the real you know, agricultural settings. Mm. So that's the next research. Very interesting stuff, and uh, and uh, we look forward uh, to the day you can uh, bring it to market uh, yeah. as soon as possible. I uh, want to thank you both for joining us today. We've been speaking there with Dr. Daisuke Irano and uh, Han Yang Yang from the Singapore MIT Alliance for Research and Technology on their research to improve crop quality here.